is about one lady her name is ruth matthew she is physically challenged woman we all need to rise up and help her the injustice going on in our country is alarming is this is totally wrong please if you just as you join the program it's going to be a very short one do not just do not just do not just join this program if you don't have a voice you can let you can help her with share by sharing let us rise up and condemn when we see evil in this country let's rise up and condemn evil please if you are watching if you are as you are joining me kindly share this program and tag the necessary people we cannot continue to keep quiet she has four children one is missing and three now unattended to let us rise up and help her the only way we can it's not about pastor it's not about anybody the most important thing is injustice to one person it's injustice to all of us this woman need our help in a in a in a society that is okay they live up they look after them very well she's a physically challenged woman why would anybody i'm going to you're going to listen some to little to her conversation with uh prof x and the only thing you can do is to help me to share this program let it get to dsls nobody I, you see we all say nigeria is bad nigeria is bad there are so many things that all this law enforcement they take law into their hand at times because of small money that one of you see all these pastors so many of us have different opinion about them but i want all of us to understand one thing we are all mothers if you go to a church if you if you if you, if you, if you went to a church and you left and you went with four and you come back with three and up to this moment more than two years you will see that pastor still doing the same thing and nothing nothing you see it is very very disheartening if we continue like this as a nation and we feel that some people that are supposed to show compassion they now feel they are above the law this is totally wrong what is evil is evil what jeremiah amato fifi has done it is injustice from the highest order you can't feel because you are in position of authority right now because you have money to continue to oppress order you see we cannot continue to keep quiet in this country this evil cannot continue i'm pleading with you you all know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody and it's not all of them it's not all nigerian it's not everyone in nigeria police are evil it's not all of them that are corrupt we still have some spirit-hearted nigerians we still have some mothers. Can you help me tag a bigger, a bigger dark beauty? You see, I'm not saying, let them investigate. We need proper, proper investigation into this allegation. We cannot keep quiet. These are human beings. Her children, they are human beings. How, how will you feel? This is a woman, a crippled, for God's sake. Physically challenged woman. She is not out there begging. She's even trying to raise her own children. Where is the compassion? I thought all of you said Jesus is love. What type of Jesus, what type of God are you guys serving? That all you do is to terrorize the poor. Is it a crime to be poor in Nigeria? You see, I am here tonight, this morning, to tell the authority. Let us assume it is a lie. They should investigate. We need proper investigation. Why harassing? Any small thing, all these pastors, especially a lot of Fifi, use police to terrorize, to abuse. This is injustice. If he is a pastor, he, he called himself a pastor. Are we saying that our country has degenerated to the level that all these guys are above the law? I fell for it and I look at, can you guys listen to this lady? What is going on? Thank God for the opportunity of coming to a society that is sane. 
this type of woman in this country, they will look after her. Look after her children. You can't even add, you can't even look after her. She's struggling on her own. And where is our heart? Why are we this wicked in this country? Who are the officers that have the audacity to arrest such women? Just because of what? I don't know. Can you help me share this? Let it get to the Inspector General of Police. Why are we like this in this country? What is wrong with us? Who is to look after the remaining three that, they left, that she left at home? Why are we like this? I'm asking, why are we like this? You see all this thing, at times when I live, when I, I, at times I feel sad. You see, arresting her, the police supposed to make provision for the one that he left behind at home. What is going on? Who is to look after the one that he left at, the three that he left at home? He's looking for one. You guys arrested her for speaking out. This is injustice. We cannot continue like this. You guys are in position of authority to look after this one. You did not go into power to look after yourself. We can't continue like this. A cripple for that matter. Why are we this wicked? Where are the women? Where are the women? The, actually, the, the human rights activists, they call themselves human rights activists. They should come out. This is the time when we know that we actually have a human rights activist in that country. It is very sad. What if another thing happened to the remaining three he left behind? Who You can see even the, the biggest, the, the oldest. The oldest of those children. I think it's 13 years. This is sad. It is so sad. Does it mean if you guys have money? The money has turned all of you to monster. Why are you this wicked? And we are talking about somebody that called himself a man of God. Supposedly man of God. So this is the Jesus all of you are selling to us. When are we going to con Are we going to continue like this? Is it the kind of country you want to live for your generation or born? We have children. They are looking at us. They are reading paper. They are, they are listening to news. We can't continue like this. Where are the women? What did this woman... This woman, injustice to one person. Is this injustice to all of us? It is totally wrong. I said, like those of you in position of authority, that you use your position to suppress others you see you all should remember one day power is transcend you are in position today you see you are in position today we don't know what is going to happen tomorrow can you please help me tell god who my right organization all i'm saying is i'm pleading let them do this for us Nigeria, tag the ig we need proper investigation. She alleged that her, her son is missing. Thank God they have arrested her. We want to get to the bottom of it. What actually happened? Who, who, what, happened to, what happened to that boy? You are all mothers and fathers at home. You have your children. If your children die, it's better that your children is missing. You can see the psychological and emotional trauma that woman has been going through in the last two years. And how can you arrest a crippled woman? Why? This is a picture. Can you help me share it? I still believe we still have good people in Nigeria. We are not wicked. No, it's not all of us that is wicked. And I, I continue to say it on my program. Any day. You see the new, this IG, I don't think, I don't think it will support this. I do not believe it's part of this evil. It's just that t the information, you know, there are so many things all these officers. Honestly, I'm looking for the officer. Those one that arrested her. I, we need to expose them. We need to expose them. And if you are listening to me, is Omar Tofifi 
Jeremiah, is he a pastor? I'm not even, I'm telling you, you are not a pastor. But I'm not even, I don't want to talk about if you being a pastor, you are not a pastor, but arresting a crippled woman, Nigerian police force. We cannot continue like this. This is satanic. This is evil. Why? Our son is missing for God's sake. So why arresting her? And in a, what did you do? What did you, what? We're supposed to put so many things in place for the remaining three at home. Who is to look after the remaining three that he left at home? If they are going to make an arrest here, the social worker will spring into action. The remaining one at all, they will take them into custody and look after them. So what do you, why are you guys wicked like this? So the remaining three, this man has four children. One is missing. The remaining three, you went and removed their breadwinner, the one that is looking after them. And she's a crippled woman, for God's sake. This is a physical challenge woman. Why are we this wicked? If for those of you that don't know this woman, that did not see this woman, Ruth Matthew, she's crippled. And we, we are talking about, somebody is talking about, they are talking about his name. Does someone of you have any character? Is he actually serving God? So why would this man now, you know, this is the same man that we arrest his pastor, his fellow pastor. I beg you the name of Jesus. I beg you the name of God Almighty. Can you tag the IG of police? I know the man, you will see that we will get justice. We will get justice. We will get justice. Why on earth we all these people continue this evil way? Are we going to continue like this? It's, it's not about anybody. I'm talking to Nigerian police now. It's about Nigerian police. This evil is getting out of her. Leave a motor fifi out of it. Why would Nigerian police arre they arrested that woman and they left the remaining three unattended to? What is going to happen to the remaining three? If anything happened to those three now, who is going to take? Why are we like this? Why? Are you saying all of us in that country we are insane? Are you saying all of us we have we don't have human sympathy anymore? Are you saying all of us we are wicked? Are you saying this is going to continue like this? If you are a woman and you are a parent and you 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 carry you carry pregnancy in your womb, you will understand the pain that woman is going through. Let us all rise up. And the little you can do, my sisters, my brothers, is to help this lady. If you cannot speak, please help me to share it. And to all of you bloggers that have big platforms, that have big platforms, that have voice, please let us cry for justice for this crippled woman. Her case is totally different from every other person's case. She's physically challenged. And she has four kids. One is missing. Three to look after. Now they've taken her into custody. The three kids are unattended to. Who are these officers? Who trained them? How did we get to this level in this country? This is wickedness. How can you take a mother? And what happened to the other one? Let us all cry out. We cannot continue like this. So by crying out, let them investigate. And if that woman is, is wrong, if, if her daughter, if his son, her son is not missing, let the whole world know the truth. This is somebody that went to your church with four children. He came, she came back with three since more than two years ago. And she's crippled. Let us all rise up. Forget Jeremiah now. But those officers that they went and arrested her, let's know them. 
Let's bring them to book. We cannot continue like this. All of us are not evil. The country is going down the drain every day. And we are the people. We are the Nigerians. You and I are the Nigerians. Even if you go and carry foreigners to come to that place, we need to change the way we reason, the way we do things. We are the problem. If a man of God, supposedly man of God, does not have compassion, just because he wants to protect his fake identity, because he wants to pro pro protect his fakeness, honestly, is, um, is Jeremiah Omoto Fifi? Is he a pastor? I wonder the type of people that sit down under his ministration. He has nothing that he has nothing, there's nothing godliness in him. All you see him to do is to perform magic. And he has nothing, it is far, far, far from God. But taking law into your hand. The last time he was talking to Matthias online. Telling my times, Nigeria police, they oh, Nigeria police, they oh, they will use Nigeria police. Why? Why will Nigerian police, why will Nigeria police allow themselves to be used for this type of rubbish? To be used for when they have the, you see, yesterday, I will show you this. Yesterday, I show one prophet. He went to a party, just went to a wedding, you know. Come and see how many police. It's a big disgrace. We are Nigerians. We are proud to be one. We see, we see other countries. We are Nigerians. All these things are wrong. They are wrong. They are wrong. All these pastors, they take law into their hand and they call the, and this and what this is what they, they and they continue to fool their gullible members. This is a man that give you sticker, give you water. Give you everything. And he's using police with guns to police him everywhere. And some of you will go there and put sticker. You will still be talking Jesus. You see this Jesus business? It's fake. Most of this Jesus business enterprises in Nigeria is fake. So it's high time Nigerians wake up. Please, if you join us, share this. It's not don't draw just here. Help this woman. She's in custody. I think since yesterday. Let us know the, the satanic officers that perpetrate this satanic act. Let Nigeria know them. We cannot continue like this. It's our country. And these are people that call themselves pastors. They call themselves pastors. They are pastors. So is it God? That is telling them to be doing all this. I know the IG doesn't know about this. And the, 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 it's a big, they are disgracing Nigerian police. The world is a global village. The whole world is looking at us. We can, a crippled woman, physically challenged woman, a woman that cannot fend for her, that is not physically fit. Oh my God. Nigerians, we need help. Oh. The only thing you can do to this woman, you can help her. Share the program. Contact the right authority. Let's begin. You see this code of condos? This code of silence, let us break it. Let's continue to ask even our religious leaders, our political leaders. Let's begin to ask them questions. By the time you ask them questions, you will begin to hear answers. We cannot continue like this. If this is the type of country you want to live for your children, children, unfortunately, it's sad. Me, I don't pray to live this type of country for my children. This is a physically challenged woman and some, and some police officer. Some police officer went there to arrest her and they left the three children unattended to. And she is looking for one. Now, if anything happened to the three that she left behind, who is going to be responsible? I'm asking you. Who is going to? This is what. This is what. This is what. This is the conversation between her. Hello. Fine. Thank you very much, sir. Good evening, sir. No problem. How was your day? My day is fine. Good. Good. 
It's like those no people way. want to strike now. What's happening? Is it now? I want to block him. Block her now. Which one? I don't. The, the, phone, the number I sent to you. That said, she wants to, to give me 5 million. And she has already bought a car. Ready to stand by my name. She said she wants to bring it to me tomorrow. She even asked for my address. Do you know what they did? They took her, they gave her money. It's Mr. Paul the Trigger yet again on another episode of the Latin series. Ruth, can you hear me? What happened? They have arrested me, sir. They have arrested you. Hello. Hi, Ruth. I'm, I'm not fine again now. My children are so now. What happened? I, I don't know that they should allow me to carry the children. They said no. They should allow us to carry the children. Where are you now? I'm with them now, sir. Who are they? How many are they? Uh, How many are they? I'm with two people in the car now. Why did, they, uh, 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 why did they arrest you? What's the reason for, for the arrest? This, this evening. Just uh, now, just now. What did they... They say I am a suspect. They came and arrest me, sir. Why? What is the reason? Did they tell you the reason why they are arresting you? They, they don't say I am a suspect. That is the reason they are arresting me. A suspect for what? I don't know for them. I don't even know. Where are your kids now? The kids are at home, only them. But they should not permit me to carry the children with along. So that the children will be with me. Even though, even inside the city, they refuse. I don't know how the children will even cope now. I don't even know. They, they, are, they are crying now. Are they wearing uniform? They are with ID cards. They are with what? ID cards. They are not with uniform. Are they, are, they, the ID. are they police or they are just people that are arresting you? Did they show you their identities? Yeah, they show me their identity that they are the police men. Can I talk to can I talk to them please? Yes, say, can I know the reason why you are arresting Ruth? You can come to your office. You can come to the station and then you know the reason. Which station? Come to a police station, what are the outposts? The what? The police station, a police station, the 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 police station. Do you have a warrant of arrest for you? You can't, you get it today. I don't even know who I'm talking to. I'm home. No, but you don't arrest someone without a warrant. You just don't go and arrest her without a warrant. You are talking, what is this what you are saying is South African law. You call, I don't show you where I am. Okay, what is your name? Can I know your identity? Stop talking to you. I think you are talking to a No, 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 no. You don't arrest anyone without a warrant. What is the probable cause? Why are you arresting her? What is her crime? What is her crime? You don't just arrest someone because you have an order. Someone told you to go and arrest someone. What is she charged for before you arrest her? Do you have a warrant with I you? Told you? I just told you where she is now. So what you is your to name? To I need to know the officer on record. If you want to help her, if you want to help her, just follow her to where she is now. I think that is the best thing. Not to be asking me questions on phone. But I need to know. I need to know in case anything happens to her. Who arrested her? You said your police are not wearing a uniform and you just go and apprehend her. For what? What is your name? I need your identity. This is madness. Another episode of Enlightenment. Greetings, people. It's Mr. Paul the Trigger. My people. It's so unfortunately that this is where we find ourselves in this country. 
all these people they begin to behave as if they are above the law they are the, they take law into their hand you see there was an incident that happened to amos and i will say it here for people that want to hear do you know what they did to amos on the day of his wedding john c suleiman apostle john c suleiman i arranged arrested him on the day of his wedding and instead of him to, to, to take this guy to police station they took this guy from benin from the venue of his wedding evening they took him to Auchi. they handcuffed him and they took him to Auchi. is that a country and after Suleiman has decided to his own city room to Suleiman's city room what is going on why do all these police officers allow themselves to they turn themselves to tools that pastor used to abuse and oppress their members civil case is different from criminal case if anybody talk anything about you that you feel is if there is an if the allegation is not correct take them to a law court let the law take its full course why is it that now we turn our country to a banana con a republic and all of you are you can see some mumu here telling me i'm creating unnecessary wahala Unfortunately, we, have, we live in a country where they don't respect law and order. But arresting a crippled woman and left her three children at all without proper arrangements. In a say, even in this country, even your own children, without no, if you are not in custody, if anything happens, if they want to arrest you and you have a children at home that is below 18, they will make provision for them. They will make provision for them. I am asking Nigerian police. When you arrested this woman, what kind of provision that you made behind for the children that this woman left at home? This type of people need... So, uh, Jeremiah Omoto Fifi is not a pastor. I don't know why all these police continue to use their, they, they turn themselves to rubbish. Some of them, they have, honestly, they are big disgrace to Nigerian police. Just because of all these small, small coins that they are giving them. They continue to disgrace the country. For how long are we going to continue? This is a man, if he's a man, this is not a man of God. If all of you are afraid of them that they have some useless thing, they don't have any power. Omoto Fifi is not a man of God because the Bible tells us clearly. He said, by their fruit. By their fruit, we shall know them. So what kind of fruit did Omoto Fifi give, show to the whole world? So you feel now that he's a pastor. So you are trying to protect a criminal. So, you all know, in Nigerian police now, they are trying to protect a criminal. Some, a less, somebody who is physically challenged. A crippled woman. You don't have sympathy for somebody who is not able. The whole world should know this. We need proper investigation into the disappearance of that boy. I think it's high time. It's high time all of you, all of you evil pastor, your days are numbered. You can't continue this way. We will continue to expose you. All of you. Because you are one of the problems of Nigeria. Look at all these people. They don't pay tax. They don't do anything they're supposed to do. Thank God, Jeremiah, I'm out of fifty. you are watching. Release her. Because I can see now you are watching. I can tell you, Jeremiah, hear me now. You are a fake man of God. Thank God you are here. I need to talk senses into your head. Good. He just logged in now. Jeremiah Omoto Fifi, you are a fake pastor. I'm telling you. My name is Maureen Badejo. I am not hiding my face. Send your police to come and arrest me here. I am here in the United Kingdom. You have nothing. There is no truth in you. There's nothing to show that you are a minister of God. 
thank God you've just caught you logged in. I can see you. You are fake. Using police to terrorize an innocent woman. Is it the only one? Jeremiah, I'm asking you, the one that happened in Germany. Is it Ross Matthew? The one that happened to in Germany. The, the children that died during your crusade in Germany. Is it Ross Matthew that did that one? I can assure you, Jeremiah, I'm out of fifteen. You are not going to. This one is going to be different from the one you've been doing. Because her case is a sensitive one. A crippled woman. Haba. Imagine. I thank God you are here. I'm happy you are watching me. And I'm telling you, you are fake. Because you need you need to arrest me. You need to arrest me because you will have me to deal with. Because I'm going to go deeper, deeper, deeper. Um, you see, professor has been doing his own. We are going to go take it up. The whole world will know what you cook. Thank God you are listening now. You remember how for Madam and John Biggs of Mark? All of them, they called you a ritual killer. You remembered. We have video. You went, you arrested them. For You, you, you did the same thing to Kasi. You did the same thing to Kasi. Kasi Chuku Ibini. You carry Cassie, you took Cassie to Bayesa. You kidnap Cassie. Um, Jeremiah, you are, you are, I know a lot about you. I know you. I just decided to look away that you, you are not a pastor. Thank God you are here. And I'm going to talk to your senses because your head is not correct at all. You are not a pastor. You are not a pastor. You are not a pastor. Ufoma came out to tell the whole world that you are a ritualist. Ben Ufoma, Bishop Ufoma, I think it's high time. Let the whole world know the truth. We have to revisit your case. Thank God you are here. So the, you, you come here to come. You know you are a very stupid man. There's nothing like you in your head. Empty brain. You are a fool. Jeremiah. You are a fool. Those of you on this platform, Jeremiah is here right now. You need to speak to his senses because he's a mad guy. This guy is mad. This guy, Jeremiah, is mad. And it's high time Nigeria know that he's fake. He's not a man of God. He's fake. You know what he did? He used police to harass Cassie. He took Cassie to Bayesa. He kidnapped Cassie. From Benin, he took him to Bayesa State. They held him hostage that he has to sign. And this stupid Jeremiah, with his damage control, they took Cassie back to his church in Worry. They stage managed it. They didn't know that we know. You know what he did? He said, do I know you? This is fake. Do I know you? You talk about me? Release that woman without further delay because your secret. Ah, you see? That guy never exposed you. My own by the time I start with you. One month. Two months, three months, four months. I never stop. Look at me. I don't lie. I'm not joking. When I start with you, I won't stop. So go and release that woman. I tell the whole world where you where you kept her son. So you had the audacity to call me and to come and listen. You are mad. Jeremiah, I'm telling you, you are mad. Your head is not correct. And the stupid people where they follow you. There is nothing godliness in you. There is nothing. You have the God to call me. What do you want to come and do? You that is fake. If indeed God is using you, why don't you prophesy to locate that child? Why? All of you begin to do all sorts of nonsense. You turn Nigerians to meet ticket. You are fake. We will continue to expose people like you, Jeremiah. We will con just have it at the back of your mind that you see the dragon you are trying to kill. It will not. It, it will just begin. It will. It will just start because I, Maureen, will start with you. I'm going to expose you. I'm going to start Mat Ruth Matthew case from the beginning. Prepare for me. Go and get your dogs. 
You need to, you need to come and arrest me, oh. You not say you they arrest everybody. Send your police to come and arrest me here in the UK. Shameless man. And you call yourself you, you think you are a pastor. And some people still feel that this man is a pastor. All this ritualist. Who for my called you a ritualist? What did you do? I, we, I have the video. We are going to let the whole world know. We need to blow it. People like you have nothing to do on the pulpit. Release. You, you have the God to, to detain a crippled woman. And you left three children at home. Unattended to. And you have your own children at home. You are a wicked man. You are a wicked man. Are you the only one? Are you the only pastor in Nigeria? Thank God you are watching. Thank God you are listening. I'm not hiding my own. You are fake. Can you arrest me? Send someone to come and arrest me. The three children that woman left at home. You better go and call your yeah, yeah, your yeah, yeah, police officer that you arranged to go and do that illegal job. To go and take care of that children. If anything should happen to them. Because the, the, the fourth one is missing. I mean, you want to use the three, the remaining three. You want to use the remaining three. Enough. Enough of this madness. And you and I, those of you that is listening to me, we can stop this nonsense. We can stop it. They are not God. They are human beings like us. Let's put them to where they belong. They claim Jesus said they are representing God. Do you think Jesus, God, will do this to, make, to Ruth? Do you think the same Jesus, they claim they are serving, We do this to anyone? You see all these ritualists that they, they call themselves pastors, that they parade themselves as pastors. May God, may God punish all of you one by one. Jeremiah, thank God, you, call, you, you use your hand, leg, come here. You are a useless man. You are fake. You will tell the whole world what happened to that little boy. Thank God. I'm, you see me now, I'm telling you. You are fake. If you did not come here, I'm talking to Nigerian police. But for you to log in, please help me. He's watching this program. Begin to give, give him your peace of mind. Give him your peace of mind. Jeremiah, log in to this. I saw him. Look, give him your peace of mind. If you left three, you, you see, if anything happened to the remaining three. If anything happened to the remaining three. Jeremiah, you and all your satanic police officer. Jeremiah and all of you. Your three police, uh, your, your three police officer you send there. If anything happened to those children. In any sane society. In any society. When a police want to arrest any mother, you will make provision for the children at home. She, you will make provision for the children at home. You took these children, you took her, their mother away since yesterday. You left the three unattended to. And she's looking for one. You see, how, when, how, how are we going to, is it the type of country? The type of Nigerian police force? You want to leave behind for your children, children. Nigeria is our country. It is our motherland. There is nothing we can do. There is nothing we can do. We can't change it. Some of us carry foreign passports. But either we like it or not, we still, Nigeria is still our home. It's still our country. Carry, carry whatever, whatever passport that you carry. Home is home. Some of you can come here and say some things. May what happen to Ruth before you? May what to, uh, Jeremiah is doing to other people? May it before some of all of you in the mighty name of Jesus? Because some of you are wicked. Because you eat from this nonsense that Jeremiah is doing. If me, I'm not begging you, Jeremiah. I'm not begging you to release her. I will, I will join the party to, to beg you to release her. Me, I will join the party that will expose you. My concern is to the Nigerian police. I don't, I'm not begging you. 
Read my leads. I'm not part of the people that will beg you to release her. Don't release her because the truth will come out. But we will talk to the authority. We will, be, we will expose you. We will expose you. We will expose me. I will not beg you, Jeremiah. No. If you like, don't expose her. But I'm just trying to tell the police officer that went to go and carry out this barbaric nonsense. All of you that went there, you should be ashamed of yourself. You took their mother away and you left the three children unattended to. It is totally wrong. It's against their fundamental human rights. We have child rights anywhere. And Nigeria signed to it. It seems that all of them, they begin to do things. They take law into their hand. Those police officers, I'm talking to all of you and you know yourself. And I'm sure either you like me. I'm not going to beg Jeremiah. If Jeremiah like, please go and kill her. Go and kill her. At least we know where, who. We know, we know you are the one in charge. You know you are the one that control the police force. Because you did the same thing to catch Isuku. You do the same thing to John Mark. You did the same thing to everybody. Now police, Nigeria police now is a tool in your hand to terrorize, abuse ordinary Nigerian. Me, I'm not part of the people that will beg you that you should release Ruth Matthew, Ruth Matthew, Rose Matthew. Mm -mm, don't release her. But I'm talking to the Nigerian police. Those officers that went to her house to arrest her and left her children unattended to. So what are they trying to do? A woman is looking for one. And you took, you took her away, you left three. I know that it's not all of them in Nigeria. Either you like it or not, the same thing, there is a Jama incident concerning children too, with the same Jeremiah. He's not the only pastor. You see all these fake pastors, they will always continue to take law into their hand. If you are wasting your data, what are you doing here? Let me take you off. Since you waste your data. And all of you, you continue to, it, it continue to mislead you confused all of you continue to confuse all of you to continue to use fake charity to mislead the general public bring us stupid money to continue to make it look as if that he's doing charity he's not doing any stupid charity all the stupid fake charity he has been parading himself that he is doing how many people how many people has it changed their life If you are listening to me, share this program to the right authority. These guys are not men of God. I can tell you, you can see when he, he, when, he, when it's like Jeremiah was there, and I let Deborah know he's not, he's not a man of God. By their fruit, we shall know them. He's not a man of God. So I don't see any reason why anybody will begin to feel that they turn. He does he have image? How can you defame a character? This man does not have any character. So what are they trying to defame? And you see, in as much as Nigeria police continues to be a tool in the hands of these pastors, we continue to have this problem. But very soon, very soon, very soon, very soon, it's not going to be business as usual. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Please do me a favor. Share this program. And if those of you, those of you that stand on the path of truth, let us all rise up and put a stop to this nonsense. We cannot continue like this. They are not serving God. All they are doing, they are lying. We cannot continue. All these people, they are not serving God. Forget about I'm serving God. They are not. Jeremiah is not a man of God. Mm -mm. Umban. Let them release them. So thank you, everyone. I have to go now. Uh, in the evening, I am going to come out. I'm going to do a proper show. Now, we need to investigate Jeremiah. All the atrocity, all things that he has been done. Everything I have. You, you know the kind of things I hear I have about Jeremiah. I just ignore him. But I think it's high time let the whole world know who Jeremiah is. The whole world needs to know who is Jeremiah. 
thank you everyone please help me to share this tag the necessary authority let's request justice and i want to plead with all bloggers let us come out and help this woman she's a different thing she's not a complete she's a i'm sorry cripple she is a creep is a physically challenged woman let's put her in our prayer let's help her let's cry out we can stop this please share it ask for justice for her thank you everyone bye